Yo, what's up, everybody? Hitman BK. Hope everybody had a really good Labor Day weekend. We have been playing Starfield on PC. I was asked last night to kind of show how I managed to pull these new. Um, look at this mess made back here, y'all. Oh my god, my kids last night were went crazy. Anyways, we was asked last night to make a video on how I got like better frames with the, the Nvidia card. Uh, because you know, it's, uh, if you're using Starfield on PC, you know, it's using AMD FSR2. Um, what you want to do is actually download a mod so you can use your DLSS and you can use use DLSS 2 or if you have a 40 series you can use DLSS 3 plus frame generation um, but you're gonna need to purchase that one it's like five bucks it's well worth it though because I'm getting 120 frames using that um, but you know what why don't we just get into it y'all so make sure you sit back you relax and you slap that subscribe button and like button and come join us over here come join the discord come join the filthy casual family come hang out with us it's good times and thank everybody um, for all your support as always Let's do it. All right. So, where do you get the where do you get the things? You get it at the University of Arkansas online. No, you don't. You go to uh, you're going to go into Nexus mods. Into Nexus mods, go into Starfield really Con confirm resubmission let's not go into nexus mods go into starfield upscaler and this is where you are going to download everything you need and you can actually find pure dark on i think it's patreon is what he uses to get the dlss 3 version that i recommend if you're using a 40 series um, but if you're not you're going to come in here you're going to go into files uh, and then just do the manual download of the you don't have to uh, do the reshade um, but you can i have it on mine and you want to do the Starfield upscaler. And then what you're going to need to do as well is download the NVNGX underscore DLSS dot DLL, right? You're going to need to download that, um, which you can do. He, he tells you how to do that. Honestly, you can get it from here, I believe. Uh, once you have all of this stuff, what it's going to look like is in your downloads, you're going to have this Starfield upscaler. Um, this is the DLSS3 version that I have. Um, but you, you guys are going to have this one and it's going to have this PD per plugin dot DLL in here. What you want to do actually is just take this. Like, so what I ended up doing is not pulling this folder in. So you're going to go into your Xbox deal here. You're going to right click Starfield. It's going to bring this up. You're going to hit files and you're going to go to browse and that's going to how you're going to find the directory especially if this is for if you're using game pass and you're going to click on starfield and content and then what you want to do is just double click on the whatever folder you decided to download and inside here once you double click it just grab all of that and paste it just bring it over and drop it into this main directory um and you'll see that i've got a you'll it'll replace it'll put in some dlls in here and then you'll have like this uh mods folder in here as well and this is where you've got your upscaler based plugin and you will put the two files and you want to make sure you have the file that does say uh my downloads you want to make sure you have the file that says the pd per plugin and then you want to download your dls file from nvidia um and drop that in here or from just just go where he tells you to go in here uh and then what you're going to do is once you get into the game you're going to hit end and it's going to bring up this guy this little deal and you're going to enable and sharpen it all then make sure enable and sharpen are on and change your upscale type to dlss and the only other thing you have to do from there is just make sure you do have s turning on fsr2 in the in-game settings because fsr2 won't actually be on it'll replace it with dlss and that's really it um that'll give you the use the ability to use nvidia's internal dlss solution which is way better than fsr2 in my opinion and should uh, provide you with much better frame rate so if you have any questions please sound off in the comments and i'll make sure to answer it hopefully I made that seem pretty easy i think where people get stuck is i was also stuck there is if you actually for whatever reason just extract it like he says to do or pull just a folder over my game didn't recognize it i needed to actually open up the folder and drag everything in there and drop it and that seemed to 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 fix it for me so yeah don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if there's anything you want to see from Starfield. We are going to be streaming it. We're going to stream the whole thing. It's going to be, it's been really fun. I've been having a lot of fun um, every night. And then if I do anything off stream, I'll make sure to upload it as a Let's Play. Um, and yeah, expect more some Remnant 2 content coming as well. And, uh, you know, keep it locked. 
for everything else. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thank you so much for your support. That's a great way to show it. Uh, and yeah, sound off in the comments. Let me know if there's anything else you want to know. Peace.